How's it going? I'm Anthony Todd of Engineering Futures, and today I'm going to show you how to do a non-ideal pulley problem. So what non-ideal means is when you have a pulley, but there is friction. Um, or the, So there's friction involved, and the pulley has mass, so that means the object has some moment of inertia. So we have to account for that. In most uh, problems in general physics, we can negate this, but this is more of an AP style problem. So what happens when you cannot negate um, friction and you don't have this perfect pulley system? So what, what happens? So here we have a rope that's wrapped around a solid cylindrical drum. So we're looking at a solid cylindrical uh, disc or drum right here. Um, so this would be uh, here. And it's very important to note what's spinning. So a pulley is, you know, a solid cylinder. And it has a fixed axis, and it's frictionless axis. And the mass of the drum is 15 kilograms. So the mass of our drum, big M, is 15 kilograms. It has a radius, so an R, of a quarter of a meter, so 0 0.25 meters. The other end is tied to a block that has a mass of 2 kilograms. We'll call this little m, 2 kilograms. Um, and question A is, what is the linear acceleration of the drum? Okay. Now, in this problem, we first need to kind of do a free body diagram. So let's do that. So here we have little m, or the mass of our little block, times gravity pulling down. And there is a tension pulling up. Okay. And on this block here, we also have a tension pulling down. And this block will actually start to rotate. So pretty much uh, that's all that's happening right here. And yes, this does have a mass times gravity. But that is directly over the axis. So we're just kind of cancels out because the torque in this case is equal to zero. So there's, there's not really any torque being produced. But here, this block here is showing that we have a torque. So we have a force over a radius. So... Typically, students would say, oh, um, this tension here would be equal to the mass times gravity of that block. Well, that's not true. So this is not correct. And the reason being is the fact that this pulley is, 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 is rotating. And as it rotates, this tension becomes less. Okay? So as it rotates... Um, this tension is going to be less than the mass times gravity because the block is actually accelerating down. So what we have to do is we have to find what that tension is algebraically. So let's just go ahead and write this out. <clears throat> we know that torque is equal to the object's moment of inertia times alpha. This is a direct play off Newton's second law, F equals ma. Um, we know torque, um, we also know that alpha alpha is just equal to your linear acceleration divided by r. So we kind of know what alpha is. And we know that torque is an object's force times a radius. And in this case, since we know the moment of inertia, so this is a cylindrical drum, we know the moment of inertia of a pulley is one-half m r squared and this is the moment of inertia for a pulley you can find this on kind of this chart or sometimes your books will give it to you so now that we have this we can now apply this to here so we know our torque our torque here is going to be equal to a force over radius well what is our force so what is our force in this case that's my students. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of kind of going slow. But what is our force in this situation? Well, a force is actually going to be this tension. And that tension is over this R here. So that is our radius. So this tension is actually going to be the force. So we can actually rewrite this as this torque here is going to be the tension times our radius is equal to the moment of inertia, which is m r squared over 2 times our angular acceleration, where our angular acceleration is actually just A times R. And we see an interesting thing happens here mathematically. So we want to solve for that tension. So notice this R cancels out with that R squared. That R cancels out with that, actually that R. And so we're actually left with this. Tension is equal to mass times acceleration all over 
2. Now, remember, that M, this is the big M. That's the mass of the pulley. All right. So now we're going to just look at this from a linear standpoint. So let's pull this block out. So we got tension pulling up, and we have mass of the pull or block times gravity pulling down. So we now know what that tension is. We can now solve for our actual linear acceleration. This actually should be squared. So we know this. So this is going to be negative. This is going to be positive. So we have uh, little m times gravity minus big M times A all over 2 equals the mass of that block, which is little m times A. And we can actually now solve for this acceleration. So we get this. Mg equals Ma plus big M A all over 2. We're now going to pull out this A over here. So we get Mg minus, or equals, sorry, equals A times M plus M over 2. And we can just now solve for that A. Okay. So we get Mg divided by little m plus big M over 2. And that will equal our acceleration for this. So now plugging in our numbers here, little m is going to be 2. Gravity is 10. So 2 plus, and that is 15 over 2. So that is the mass of our big pulley. And that gives us approximately 2.1 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration of this non-ideal pulley. Part two now asks, what is the angular acceleration of the block? Okay, this is now so a little bit simpler. So we know acceleration linearly is equal to angular acceleration times r. So if we know the linear acceleration from the previous problem, which is 2.1 meters per second squared, and we know the radius is 0 0.25 meters, well then angular acceleration is just linear acceleration all over r. So 2.1 divided by 0 0.25 gives us 8.4, and that is radians per second squared. Now C asks, what is the tension in the root? rope? Assume that it doesn't slip. So we kind of go back to this. If this has 2 kilograms of so the block, and that tension's pulling up, and you have that M pulling down, and we actually know from the previous problem that our actual tension is just equal to the mass of the, the pulley times the acceleration of our system over two, that gives us 15 times 2.1 divided by two. So that's approximately a little bit over 30. And that gives us approximately 16 newtons. So that is the tension in the pulley. Uh, you could also do it like this right here. You could also pull this out. You'd have tension, negative tension plus mg equals mass of the blocks. Again, you're doing Newton's second law, so we can do it linearly as well. This tension would be equal to um, mg minus ma, so tension would be pull the m out, little mass times gravity minus acceleration, so that gives you 2 times 10 minus 2.1, and that still gives you 16 newtons. So there's different ways you can find the tension, okay? So I hope this video helps. Uh, if so, please give me a like and please subscribe for more physics and astronomy content. Um, I thank you again for watching and have a great day.